Hello, hello everyone. It is me, Stephanie R. Bridges, writer, author, publisher, entrepreneur, and lover of all things fashion. I'm here today to share with you a capsule collection and I'm going to go over the how, the why of, you know, curating a capsule collection and I'm also going to talk to you about where I purchased my items which you probably see by the title was from Boohoo and I got all of my pieces for $200. So I got 10 items plus two pair of shoes and my budget was $200. So some of it was a little more than $20 and some of the pieces were less than $20. So we are gonna get started, but before we do that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out. Let's go. So let's start with the why of having a capsule collection. So we want to save the environment, of course. We know with the advent of fast fashion and just with Americans in general being consumer. So we have a high rate of consumerism. If nobody else around the world will buy it, we will. And you know, fast fashion has made a lot of clothing items you know, cheaper, easier to access, you know, we can shop at home. And because of this, you know, we are filling the earth with a lot of fabrics that um, aren't earth friendly. So they're not um, degrading naturally, if that is the term. Um, and so they're filling up our dumps and it's causing a, a huge issue for the environment. So that is one of the reasons to have a capsule collection is to save the earth, save the world, okay? Another reason to have a capsule collection is to save money. So basically when you're, um, when you have a capsule collection, you're limiting to limiting yourself to a certain amount of items to wear. So if you're thinking in terms of what it is I can wear together, then you're ahead of the game as far as saving money. And then also if you're buying less, buy is saving time. And this is a huge one because we spend a lot of time figuring out what it is we're gonna wear for the day or what it is we're gonna wear for the week. We spend so much time washing clothes and ironing clothes and hanging up clothes and storing clothes. And you know, you can save a lot of time if you just have a certain amount of pieces that you pull from daily. Also, if you're a person who travels a lot, and we might all be traveling, especially if you look like me, <laughs> there might be a quick exodus, you know, of out of here. Um, you want to have a, a collection, some pieces where you can throw into a suitcase quickly and go. Now, I know most of us can probably throw some things together, you know, fairly quickly and get ready to hop on a plane or, you know, get in our car and drive off. However, what usually happens is once we get there, we're like, oh man, I forgot and I forgot and I need to stop over here. So then we find ourselves looking for a mall or looking for somewhere where we can, you know, fill in the gaps of the things that we forgot. But if we have a capsule collection, not only are we able to, you know, quickly get ready, you know, we are staying ready so we don't even have to get ready. And we already know these pieces work together. So that is the why of the capsule collection. Now let's talk about the how. So how do you curate a capsule collection? One of the things you want to do, you want to choose a color palette. Now the easiest way to go and the rule of thumb as far as capsule collections are concerned are to choose a neutral or perhaps a couple of neutrals. Now, I'm a neutral girl, so this is right up my alley. So your neutral colors would be your browns, your tans, your grays, your blacks, your creams, your whites, and maybe even your navy blues. Um, and anything denim, of course, is gonna be neutral. So you want to pick out some neutral 
pieces that you can kind of mix and match with everything else. And then if you're a real color person, you know, you want to pick out a few items that have some pops of color and maybe some different prints and everything like that. So for most capsule collections, you're looking at maybe 10 to 15 items. Um, the rule of thumb, I think it's around 10 that you can turn into 30 different outfits. So you want to be able to wear a, a different outfit every day of the month get those 30 looks from 10 different items or 12 different items what is my budget going to be capsule collection came to 200 dollars altogether and i got about 10 12 items for that 200 dollar um, range and i purchased mine from boohoo and so all the items that i chose are going to be linked below and so definitely check those out and now that we've talked about choosing a budget it would be wrong for me if i didn't go back to sustainability because that's one of the things we talked about saving the earth so honestly if you really think about it you can possibly curate a capsule collection from your closet so ideally you would challenge yourself to do that before we get any further i do want to mention that this video is sponsored so i'm so excited this is my first sponsored video and it was actually sponsored for mother's day by my two beautiful daughters and so my daughters are asha bridges and nandi bridges and i will link their social media below my daughter nandi she does have a depop store um she has lots of tennis shoes i'm not a sneakerhead she is so if that's something that you're interested or into you might want to check out her depop store um and you know you can support her there she has some she has lots of cute shoes if i could fit her shoes Man, listen, I think I would be into tennis shoes. Then my daughter Asha, she is super excited to get into the film industry as well. And she's a very talented writer. So I'll also link her information uh, below. But they want to show you are the dresses that I got. And again, you'll see me full length trying these on. And this was a dress. This dress was um, only about like, it was less than $10. So it's a full length dress and it has um, a split, a nice little split down here at the bottom. And it, I mean, for the price that it was, it's like, yeah, okay. Now, I don't know that I needed, needed this dress. It's kind of outside of my comfort zone. I don't really wear much blue at all. Um, I wear blue jean. I wear lots of denim, but I don't really wear navy blue. So this was just me trying to push myself a little bit. And then I never really have the occasion to wear a long dress, but I figure, hey, eight dollars, <laughs> you know, stay ready. You won't have to get ready. So that is the first item. And then the second item is a slip dress. Now this it goes into my pop of color. So this is just a polka dot slip dress and this one has a nice little split as well. Now this is my favorite dress and this is a animal print like a leopard print. I'm not sure if you can see that um, slip dress and it's fairly short. In the video I'm trying it on, it looks mini, like, you know, I'm trying to pull it down. But it's really not that short if you wear, you know, the correct shapewear, like some shapewear shorts. The um, fabric will tend to, you know, stick to whatever the shapewear ends. So if that's a concern of yours of things rising up, then, you know, wear shapewear and wherever the shapewear ends, the fabric will tend to stay there and they won't rise on you. But I clearly don't have on shapewear in this video. So, but this is my favorite um, item and it is so soft. And this was another item that was under um, $10 that kept me at budget. So even if you get this and you're like, ah, I don't really like it, I don't wanna wear it. You can wear this around the house. It's comfortable enough to wear to bed. Um, I definitely say get this. 
The next thing that I got, I got a two-piece set. Now you'll start to see some tans and some browns. So those are, that's my neutral palette. That's what I'm sticking to as far as my capsule collection is concerned. And this is the next item, it's actually a set. And getting sets is a way to stretch that dollar and stretch those looks. And this is the um, skirt to the set. And you can see it has a, a high split there. Um, I possibly could have went down in the, in the skirt, but once I show you the top, you'll see that I, I couldn't really have gone down. But um, I think this is beautiful because it really matches my skin tone. It'll make people do a double take. And I wouldn't personally wear this just by itself. I would wear a jacket or something else and I'll show you how that looks. But I'll also show you how it looks um, by itself. Now this is the top to it and it's just a very tiny crop. And so I definitely needed this um, for the amount of coverage um, that it gives. And I'll make sure I have all the sizes and everything um, down in the description uh, bar. But this has pretty good hold in that, you know, you can raise your arms and I do that in the video just to kind of show you that, you know, it doesn't rise up. You're not going to fall out of it. And you can definitely wear, you know, a half bra. You could probably even get away with wearing a bra with this one because the straps are um, fairly wide. So this is cute. I love it. And it comes in lots of lo and lots of different colors. So that's the first set and then this is the second set and again it's me trying to get out of my comfort zone and it's just a pair of like cool lot kind of cropped um wide leg pants and it has a belt attached and it's a bright bright orange color and i think this fits very well too and i definitely like this one as well I, uh, if I had to choose, I might say the brown one, but these two are really close. I like both sets. And then this one just comes with a bandeau top or bandeau top. And um, this is it. So in the picture on the model, it looks like it has a little hang to it, um, a little bit lower, but it's really like crop, crop on me. So again, this is something that I would uh, probably wear, you know, with a jacket or with a blouse would be very pretty or with a kimono would be very nice. So now we're going to go into bottoms and these are just some basic tan pants. So again, my neutral, I'm sticking with the um, brown and tan family. So these are just some wide leg pants. And I really do like these as well. I mean, a lot of these items I think are just like a stretch, you know, polyester, something material. So it is, it's fast fashion. And, if, and then the next item are some denim shorts. Now these are one of my favorite. So I would say get that slip dress, these shorts, if they're available. These have no stretch, no give, but they are a very nice quality. And so I do like these. And then now we're into tops or um, layering pieces. So this is a blouse that I got that is tan. It has a little peplum. And this is really cute. I mean, it made the outfits look really great. I don't love the fit of it. Um, and it, you know, comes with this tie. There's just something about it, about the way maybe it's the arms or the shoulders fit, but it is a nice looking shirt. So I'm kind of broad shouldered. If you have a different, you know, body type, you know, this might fall on you perfectly. So, you know, I would recommend it, but um, if you're, if you have more broad shoulders, then maybe not. So that is that. And then one of the things that I got, I wanted to uh, kind of get in on the oversized uh, blazer trend. So um, boyfriend blazers are definitely in. And this is a navy blue. It's so dark, it almost reads as black. But it is a navy blue. 
And I got this from the men's section. So Boohoo men's section. And this was one of the more expensive pieces and it was only like $24. So, and it's excellent quality. It is lined. Um, it's a very nice fabric. So if you're, you know, want to go with a boyfriend blazer, who I would definitely recommend their blazers. They're not all this um, inexpensive. Some of them are a little bit more, but the quality is definitely good on those. So I would recommend that. This is a denim jacket. Now this is me every day, all day. I have so many denim jackets. I can't stop purchasing denim jackets. If I see a denim jacket in a store, I have to try it on. I mean, <laughs> and I think this one is really cute. <clears throat> it's kind of long line and it has the big pockets. So that's one thing you want to do. I mean, you want to kind of think outside the box when you're curating your capsule collection, whether you're purchasing pieces or finding them out of your closet. Make sure there are some things that you love that just make you feel like you. So it won't be such a struggle every day or you won't be wearing like the same denim jacket every day. Like I could see me, you know, putting this on. But um, so that is another item that I got. And then I want to show all the items, which is two pair of shoes. So these shoes are from Boohoo as well. And so I have a tan uh, pair, the Bottega Stan and Netta's, um, you know, the dupes. So I have those and they're super cute. I love those shoes. And then this is my pop of color with the orange. And it's just some, you know, straps, but also, you know, with the square toe. So very, very trendy. Now I will say in terms of size, I wear a size 10. I, you know, I wear US 10. And in some of the items you'll see, I went up and got a size 12 and then other items you'll see um, down in the description bar, I may have went a little bit lower and got a size eight. And most of the reason, like if I saw that there were like 5% or more of stretch, spandex, elastane, you know, that's just the stretch, the word they use for stretch, then I probably went down a size but if it didn't have any stretch at all, I may have went up a size. And so I think that's it for the how, the why, and the items that I chose from Boohoo. And so now um, I'm gonna show you the 30 plus looks. And I do wanna preface this by saying, I just tried the clothes on, I did not you know, change up shoes or styles, my hair, oh, it was really bad. So I, it was a hat day. Um, and I only want to wear hats. And I didn't have on like the proper undergarments and everything. So, so please forgive me. It was just one of those days where it was like now or never, get it done, get it out there. So you'll see that.
so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you later.